Today we're going to talk about um, our new tech history in Google Cloud Platform BigQuery offering. And I think it's interesting to maybe talk about um, some of the big challenges that um, the historical data industry uh, is, is currently facing and maybe hear a bit more about your experience uh, using some of the Refinitiv data. Yeah, within Refinitiv Labs, as you know, we use emerging technologies to solve business problems. Accessing data is challenging. You need to create your own historical data sets and maintain them and this is a big burden and it's really good that we have Kick History in GCP now. So we spend a lot of time speaking to our customers trying to understand what their largest challenges are. And um, I'd say these can be bucketed into four large areas. The use of AI and machine learning and the fact that you need a lot of data and good quality data to power these workflows. Number two, um, the increasing uh, regulatory pressures means that customers need to do compliance reporting, for example. Number three, I'd say, is uh, the fact that they need a lot of data that allows them to scale up and down. And then number four, I'd say, is the total cost of ownership, so consistently being challenged to reduce uh, costs and find efficient ways to allocate resources. Would you say that that's also the case for uh, Refinitiv Labs? By all means, we're facing the same problems as our customers. Sometimes it's very difficult to get hold of the data that we need. And we're building a lot of prototypes that monitor financial markets and we need access to TIG data. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, so we've recently made available our TIG history um, offering in a Google Cloud platform within BigQuery. And that is actually enabling customers to access the data where the capability sits. Can you tell us a bit more about that? I think the history in the cloud is really useful for any products that uh, work with financial markets. For example, we have uh, Project Mosaic, which is an application that monitors financial markets. It detects abnormal price moves and notifies users about it. And it also searches through the news around the price move and we try to find relevant information and explain this price move. And of course it's only possible if you analyze some historical period for each stock to detect what is abnormal for that stock. And that's where the history in the cloud shines. Not only it removes from us the burden of creating and maintaining a huge data set of big data, it also allows to uh, run really good analytical queries. So without TIG history, you'd have to set up your own Hadoop cluster on premises or in the cloud and maintain your data set in a cluster. And chances are that you need it to be continuously updated. You're in around the four terabytes of data per day, correct? That's exactly right. Imagine what it's like to manage a five petabyte archive with data being added on a daily basis. We carry about 400 plus venues, um, exchanges, OTC content, as well as exclusive data sets. And the data goes all the way back to 1996, so 20 plus years worth of data. Um, that makes this incredibly costly and difficult to manage for our customers if they had to do that in-house. So essentially, we're making uh, our tick history data available within BigQuery um, and allowing customers to benefit both from significant speed since they no longer need to wait for the data to download or for disks to be physically delivered to their um, locations. And then on top of that, customers can actually benefit from using the analytic libraries and all of the capabilities um, as well as the fast compute that uh, BigQuery offers. So the history in GCP is really useful if you're building financial products. It certainly helps us a lot in the labs. 